Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Maria Delmi. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Giselle. Hello, Cindy. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Hello, Hi. Jesus. Hey, how are you, Andrea Dayanara? Hello. A little bit sick. <laughs> really? Why? What happened to you? Headache. I have a headache. Oh, you have a headache. You need to mm -hmm. sleep. Yes, I need that. I was so... feeling like that yesterday. I didn't mm -hmm. feel too good yesterday because the the day before I didn't sleep very well and then mm -hmm. last night I didn't sleep very well but mm -hmm. today before the classes I slept almost two hours so oh I feel right now I feel delicious nice yeah. yes I need to take a rest maybe yes your eyes are like chinese right now yes I'm stress in that thing <laughs> yeah i imagine i stress is the number one killer in america mm -hmm. stress is terrible okay welcome welcome guys welcome welcome hello kenya yamilet Hello, Cindy Carolina, Martin, Maria Delmi, welcome. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent. Good evening. good evening. I'm happy to hear you're doing good. Who can tell me what information you remember about yesterday's class? <clears throat> What information do you remember about yesterday's class? Um, yesterday, we are talking about uh, about the projects, the future. Going to and will be okay we're going to do a little review right now we're going to review the the video about the future to refresh the class from yesterday got it then you're going to use the expressions towards the left you're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right. That could be a, uh, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on. Hi, everyone. Can everybody hear the video? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen, please. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? 
Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be, and then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form, and then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at home, my house. And so. Um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, 
the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle. Okay, I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now if you look at let's say the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go and then again you might not so if you're sure about it then you're going to use the expressions towards the left you're going to use be going to plus um, you know whatever complement that exists so you're going to use I'm going to go to Europe all right that could be um, your plan but if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Okay. Who can tell me some of the questions that you remember from yesterday's class referring to the future? What questions do you remember from yesterday's class? Referring sure. to, yes. Uh, maybe, do you know who you are marrying? Okay. Do you know who you are marrying? That sounds like a good one. Yeah, because we don't know who you're going to marry, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's another question that you remember from yesterday? What are you going to go on your next vacation? Where are you going to go on your next vacation? Good, good. Another one? Okay, let me share some questions with you referring to the future tense. Uh, let's look at the first one. What type of job would you like to do in the future? How do you get that type of job? Will you make much money in that job? Do you want to get married? Do you know who you are marrying? What high school are you going to go to? Omit that one because I imagine no one here is in high school. How can we preserve the future for the next generation? That's a very good question. How will computers change in the future? Good question. 
how will transportation develop in the in future times? How old will people live to be in the future? What kind of developments might happen in healthcare in the future? Could there be another world war in the future? Well, we see it developing now. How can we prevent a world war from happening? Where do you plan on going in the future? So I would like for you to practice these questions with your classmates. I'm going to share the questions in the WhatsApp chat so that everybody can have them. One second, my, my WhatsApp is not loading. Well, let's start while this loads. Let's start with the questions that you have there, and then we will continue. One student will ask the question. This is a speaking activity. One student will ask the question and the other student will respond and then vice versa. Ready, let's go. Um, and you? Um, well, I would like to be in a ONG or something like that. Mm. And with Miguel? Yeah. Maybe in the future I, I want uh, saying maybe in another world, I'm sorry, another country, uh, maybe in the United States uh, with my company, a uh, big company. And what about Martin? I uh, maybe I will like uh, arm business. Okay. Mm -hmm. About what? Um, I like it to um sell. So, uh, I don't know. So, sell some something or sell a uh, uh, fruits and vegetable. Ah, uh, would you like to sell vegetables? Yes. Nice, that's nice. Okay, and 
what uh, how do you get that type of job? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, how do you get that type of job? I will get the type of job um, is starting about the profession and looking for the opportunity for that opportunity in order to be flight attendant. And you? Okay. Well, I think that I need to make a name a name in the sense of that have a big projects first, uh, work in big uh, companies. So in the future, I could have like this trajectory. I don't know how do you say in English, but uh, have a, a career in, in knowing projects to maybe someday could open this ONG or, or being in one ONG. And what about you, Luis Miguel? Uh, I guess uh, only I can I can do uh, working hard working hard because nothing is easy. That's right. You're right. Um Martin. Hey, Martin. Hi. Hola. How uh, do you get that type of job? Uh, is is easy. You buy to to wall wall sell wall. I I don't know how to say. Uh, you buy uh to wall sellers, wall sellers, and and after that I I I sell to the 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 products to the minerals. Okay. Um, will you make much money in that job? Nuria? Well, I think that I will make more money. I think that it will be a better job that, that I have now. And what about you? Will you make much money in that job? Well, I think that maybe yes, but no, <laughs> because it's something like um, social, what I'm thinking. But I think in that, uh, when I make that, I gonna have some career, like I'm saying. So yes, I will have more money. And what about Luis? Eh, solo una pregunta. ¿Estamos hablando uh -huh. de un trabajo en específico o de algo que, o, o sea, según la, las, las respuestas que nosotros propiamente damos? Yo creo que este, es... sería sobre el trabajo que tú pensás que vas a tener en el futuro. Como un trabajo soñado. Oh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh... What's question is? Okay, it's... what is the question? Excellent, Will... Nuria. Corazoncito para Nuria. Good job. Thank you. Will you make much money in that job? Oh, um, uh, I, I, I will, I will a job, uh, really good because because I uh, 
everything wants uh, money. Um, and I guess uh, my perfectly job, no sé si así se dice, uh, is really... Uh, you can say my perfect job. My perfect job is... ¿Cómo se puede decir eh, que sí paga bien? Pays well. Pays well. And... Um, like, for example, the cure of cancer? Oh, okay. Probably. 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 Ay, esa palabra. <laughs> Okay. Could there be another world war in the future? Good question. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How can we prevent a world war from happening? Wow. <laughs> mm, also, I don't know. <laughs> this topic is um, a little bit difficult because uh, what is the point world war? Yes. Uh, where do you plan on going in the future? Hmm? Where do you plan on going in the future? Oh, uh... Uh, in the space, <laughs> in the in the space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Nayeli. Hi, Nayeli. Hello. Dice que no puede contestar. Oh, okay, yes. El chat. Okay. Yes. I don't remember. And and you, Kenya, in Spanish. <laughs> Ay, sí. Creo que el futuro es bien. <laughs> Inestable, inestable, porque realmente los gobiernos quieren todos el poder, ¿verdad? Y yes. no ceden, no ceden. Mm -hmm. Todos quieren el poder y no importa llevarse al pueblo. Oh, yes. eh, y eso hace que uno tenga pensamientos no firmes, ¿verdad? Porque no. Oh. Eh, yes. Nice. Okay. And do you have, have a, a child? Uh, ¿Cómo? Do you have you a have, son? And a daughter. You have, you have a? A son. If you oh. have a, a son you and have, daughter. You have, you have a child. Um, do you have a child? Yes, I am uh, I, um, two, two child. Uh, oh. Camila has uh, three years and Milagrito has five years. It's two girls. Two girls. Yes. Two daughters. Okay. The girls. Cute. The girls are beautiful. Nah. Yes. The girls. The girls are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. And do you know? I don't know. <laughs> are you marrying? <laughs> 
<laughs> of course that <laughs> do you know <laughs> okay uh, uh -huh. uh, i i i married because we are <laughs> friends uh, best friends uh, yeah we, we we you have we been more. You have we, uh, we 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 have been best friends. You can say we friends. have been best friends. We, oh, okay. We uh -huh, we meet in the world and uh, he, is love the first <laughs> no your first love. Uh, no, uh, yes, yes. The, my oh, she okay. is my first love. Ah, that's too cute. And you are still working together. What? Sorry, I don't hear. You are still working together. Uh, yes. Uh, because we 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 are working in a family business. Uh, okay. We are together every day. Okay, wow, you see her uh, all the day, that's nice. Yes, he's, he's, he's cute. Okay, and Martin, how do you know your your wife? Um, yes, she's a, a very, very nice wife, he's, he's a good person. Okay, but how do you know? Eh, ¿Cómo la conociste? Ah, okay. Eh, in the shorts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God hear you. <laughs> <laughs> in the shorts. Uh, yes. <laughs> Nuria. <laughs> nice. Got it's, to hear you. It's, it's a nice place where you can mm -hmm. find a, a good, a good, a good woman and a good man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and, and Nuria, how do you know your your boyfriend? <laughs> At work. At I work too. My yes. Oh, <laughs> and you? Okay. And in a concert of my favorite uh, singer. Mm -hmm. Do you, Excuse me, you I heard. didn't hear you well. I know my boyfriend in a concert of my favorite singer. Oh, and who is your favorite singer? Siddhartha. Mm, nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, I met him there. And that's so magic for me. But I don't want to get married too. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, but I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Still. It's not, it's not a time. <laughs> not the time, right. I'm young, too. So maybe in the we future. Have seen your okay, guys, it's time for us to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. Andrea Dayanara. Present. Present. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda. Andrea Esmeralda. Angel Isaac. Angel Isaac. Byron Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Byron. Aileen. Aileen. Catherine Joanna. En el chat contestó. Aileen contestó en el chat. Okay, thank you, Eileen. 
Katrin Joanna. Present. Thank you. Kenya Roxana. Present teacher. Very good. <laughs> okay. Kenya Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Very good. Martin. Present. Excellent. Moises. I'm here. Good. Nayeli. Uh, Martin. Hi, teacher. Thank you. you. Moises. Moises. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Hola. Nayeli escribió, Nayeli read in the chat. Okay. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Nayeli. Maria Delmi, present. Yes, I got you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nuria. Present. Excellent. Rebecca. Present teacher. Very good. Cindy. Cindy. Okay. So we have Moises mm -hmm. absent. Uh, we have Angel Isaac absent. Andrea Esmeralda absent. Teacher, I'm present. I couldn't connect before. Okay, what now is your, I'm present. What is your name? Andrea Esmeralda, teacher. Thank you, Andrea Esmeralda, present. Angel Isaac. Angel reading in the chat. Angel Isaac, right in the chat. Thank you, Angel Isaac. Moises Giovanni. Moises Giovanni. Absent. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, I like listening to your conversations. I I enjoy <laughs> listening to you. Uh, oh, okay, Cindy, Carolina. Excellent. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, I enjoy listening to your conversations, guys. Now we are going to repeat the activity and we are going to change partners. Ready? Let's go. Change partners. Ready, let's go. I learned to fathom human ways. Who wants to start, start with the question? Clouds of confusion became crystal clear. I don't know. If you want, you are the first. It's okay. Okay. I will Can ask, I ask you. you. And you, Catherine, you can respond if you want. Okay. I my okay, you. the first question is, what type of job would you like to do in the future? Mm, I would like to work uh, at the embassy. Repeat. Hmm? 
repeat, please? I would like work in the embassy. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. Interesting. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Um, because it's, um, it's a job of, um, in my mind, I oh. think that it's a, it's a, it's a job very interesting because you, you know more persons and, oh. and, and Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, perfect. Excellent. In my case, I would like to work like an English teacher. Oh, really? Yes. I'm studying for that. Yes. Actually, I work uh, like a Spanish teacher online. Oh my but God. I would like to work in, like an English teacher too. <laughs> wow, that sounds good. Yes. Other question? Um, do you want to get married? Uh, yes, but not now. Uh, okay. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. Yes, you are very young. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 30 years old and I'm married. <laughs> I, oh my God. I got married when I was 26 years old. Wow. Yes. <laughs> very good. Very good because all the time you have a company and your your husband is your best friend your i don't know uh, friends of adventures and a lot of things <laughs> oh my god yes you will find someone in the future when you when you want to get married <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Other question. Let me see. How can we preserve the future for the next generation? So, um, I think that learn to the kids um to take care of the environment ah yes very good idea yeah <laughs> what about you i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> maybe the same oh yeah I, I don't know how do you say i have a neighbor thought in that algo así, something like that <laughs> nunca he pensado en eso oh, can I say um, ay, no me acuerdo <laughs> cómo se dice I, yes, but... I have never thought of that creo yo pensar ah. sí I never oh. I never thought of that Ah, okay, I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And other question? Um, how will cell phones change in the future? Um... um, um <laughs> I think that we will anti-social. Repeat. Um, 
I think we will be antisocial. The social what? Antisocial, antisocial. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And your other question is could could there be another word word in the future? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um I I have never thought of that. <laughs> oh yes. Yes, me too. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how old will people live to be in the future? Uh, I think 60 years old. Mm -hmm, yes. So, some people live maybe 80 years old, but no, it's, it's not... One hundred. Ah, yeah. Mm hmm And where do you plan on going in the future? Um, um, I would like to 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 Suiza. Ah, very good. <laughs> very good. Well, I I have plans to go to Guatemala on December, but now I don't know because the situation over there is stressful, very bad. Oh. Uh, and that is the reason because I think my plans is no are are I don't, I don't know no se van a cumplir but in the future maybe on December or on January <laughs> but I hope so. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good. Okay. The other student here is Andrea. But Andrea, hello. Hi, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. I have a good news for you. Ah, what is that? It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I ask. Uh, ask a question or I respond? You respond because we want to okay. know about you. <laughs> okay, okay. I... Uh, okay. Catherine, do you want to ask the question to Andrea? Okay. Okay, Andrea, uh, what type of job would you like to do in the future? I... I I I think that my job is of the civil engineer because I studied that. Um, but the specific area is technical geology. Oh it's for the God. study of the of the of the. I don't know how to say suelos, <laughs> pero es estudio de suelos para las construcciones. Ah. Excellent. Interesting. Thank you. Yeah. And do you want to get married? Uh, now I know, but in the future, yes, I can. I can be married. Oh, good. <laughs> For a. Uh, uh, Six or seven years in the future, I I wait for that. <laughs> yeah, me too. And 
How can we preserve the future for the next generation? Uh, there, I, uh, mm, okay. Um, no sé cómo decirlo, uh, cuidando el medio ambiente. Ah, take care of the environment. Take care of the environment, yes, and in um uh, in in y cuidar o sea no no, no realmente no sé cómo contestar en inglés pero cuidar Ajá. como a, a las personas pequeñas que no crezcan con un pensamiento malo o un corazón malo porque como de eso de, a los de, niños ajá y yes, teach a children sería teach children yes yeah. Teach children, yes, uh, for good boundaries. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And how will computers change in the future or cell phones? However, mm. I think that the computer and cell phone is most important than for the actually and for the actuality, creo que se dice, for the actualidad, uh, and the future mm -hmm. because it is, is a herramienta que facilita las cosas, ay, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, to. and is more, to. is more, to, uh -huh. is, is more, uh, important for example for my career uh, the computer is important for the 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 create create the planos and the and the uh, I no sé qué va a decir oh what is your career civil engineer oh my god O sea, que usted le sabe las matemáticas. I believe in me, but uh, it, the math is so difficult. <laughs> Incluso, eh, aunque pensaba antes que sí era buena, realmente me, se me han dificultado bastante ahora. Ay, Pero sí, a sí. todos nos pasa cuando comenzamos la universidad. I, I study a lot, really, I study a lot. I study all day or... or all night and for the exam of maths is most important for the career. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But how will transportation develop in the future times? Develop, develop, no, no creo que se pronuncia mm. uh, Repeat, please. Repeat, please. Ah, este, how will transportations develop in the future times? O sea, como que, ¿cómo se ah. va a transportation? Mm. Um, I know, I don't know really, but I think is uh the cars and trains is more actually safe or more mm, o tengan mejoras para este como por ejemplo los autos eléctricos o sea ya sean más utilizados o algo así mm -hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, what kind of developments might happen in the healthcare in the future. Mm. Yes, and I know, I don't know. <laughs> um, como que desarrollos va a tener como el área de salud en el futuro? Mm. I think with the use use the uh, artificial 
intelligence uh, or the new uh, thoughts for the uh, uh, no, no sé o sea, o crear nuevas herramientas para la creación de, de nuevos medicamentos o usando las IAS para para tener lo mejor este avance en, en ese en ese ámbito okay. en inglés eh, se me hace más difícil contestar sí sobre estos temas sí es bien difícil um, but where do you plan on going in the future What? Where do you plan on going in the future? Mm. I play, I play a going to the another countries or visit another places in the in the country of Salvador now mm -hmm. uh, but my my dream is go to the another countries in another continent for example Grecia or Spain or Turkey <laughs> I can I can pronounce this name in, in English but uh, it's my dream it's my dream oh. meet the the another cultures and another people. Yes, I agree with you. And that's all. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for asking me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You're welcome. I only only are uh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. One person ask the question and the other person respond to the question. Two volunteers. Who wants to volunteer? I ask a question, teacher. Okay, Martin ask the question. Who wants to respond? One volunteer to respond. Martin ask the question. Okay. Okay, Maria, Hi, Maria. respond. Uh, how old will people like to be in the future? Um, I I know uh, our bodies can be alive one hundred twenty. 20 years, 120 years, and in, in the future, I think we can, we can live more, more, more eight, more, eight, more years. Okay. Um, I think uh, the the people um don't live more more with this time 
because uh, there are more uh, enfermedades, teacher. How do you say? Sicknesses. Sicknesses. There are oh, more sicknesses in, in this time. Yes, I think the people live only 55 to 60 years. I think. I don't know. Um, other question, Maria? Okay, we're going to stop right here. It's already time to go. All right, guys. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Bye-bye. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.